This is the Kelpies. It's in Falkirk and it's a statue of two giant horses and it's situated between a, a canal and a motorway. The artist says that these Kelpies are a symbol of modern Scotland. We're not so sure. I don't think the Kelpies are a symbol of modern Scotland because they're horses and I feel like horses were used more in Scotland than the Victoria era, but I still think it's interesting. I think they are a symbol of modern Scotland because of the materials they're made out of. I mean, when you think about Falkirk, you think about the Kelpie, so it's quite recognisable in modern Scotland. One word to describe the Kelpies. Amazing. 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 Fabulous. Amazing. Awesome. <laughs> Just amazing. <laughs> Iconic. I say they're big and majestic. My name is Frances Wilkinson and I'm a Kelpie tour guide. Where did the idea to build the Kelpies come from? It came from Scottish Canals who gave the idea of the Kelpies to Andy Scott, the sculptor. Now Kelpies are, according to Scottish legend, are a shape-shifting water spirit, but Andy Scott moved away from that idea and wanted the sculptures, sculptures to represent the horse, the heavy horses who, who were worked along the canals in Scotland. How does it represent modern Scotland? To me, the sculptures represent the area's industrial heritage, but of course the materials and the, and the technology used are modern. Will you take a picture of the Kelpies and what will you do with it after? Probably post it on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's already gone on social oh, media. Probably, Probably post social it. media. Yeah, yeah. Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Kelpies here are 30 metres high and they're the largest equine sculpture in the world and the largest public artwork in Scotland. To me this is like traditional art and that has a much older audience. But then again, it's really modern, I would say, the materials and... Well, yeah, but do you see that and you're like, wow, that's so exciting and it's so cool. When I seen it, I thought it was cool. Like, all I know is my granny would be jumping to go with all of her friends to the Kelpies for the day, whereas if I was going to go out for the day with all my pals, I would not pick the Kelpies. I don't really think it's traditional because obviously I've never really seen anything like it before. It doesn't determine if it's like bad or good though. Like if everyone does like it, then obviously that like that's amazing and all that, and he's done a really good job at creating something that everyone will love. But at the same time, if something isn't as successful, it doesn't mean that it's like bad. It just necessarily means that it's not everyone's taste. Like tracks visitors because seen it on the motorway. The reflectiveness of it, its striking appearance. And when it's lit up at night as well. Yeah, yeah. people want to come visit. 